What is up, y'all? Welcome back. It's episode 20 of the Marlins, and we are in the playoffs. We're facing Atlanta. We were absolutely dreadful against them this year. 6-13. and 13. Just a disaster. And it, I, I felt it every time, too, because, you know, they come up on the schedule. You're definitely looking at that series. That's a test. And we failed that test repeatedly. So they had a huge edge there. But that doesn't matter. Those games don't count anymore. Who gives a shit, okay? You still wound up where we wound up, all right? You punched us a little bit along the way, but we're in the same spot now. And now it's about who wins from here. Because if we win two out of three, no one gives a shit about your season series. Absolutely no one. So let's get into it. We've got a couple days off, which is great. Get everyone well rested here. We open at home, don't forget, but then two in Atlanta. You can do goofier things with the three games set here than you can in real life. Um, I think it's obviously a little tougher. I mean, it isn't tough to play three straight days. It really shouldn't be. I think that they could do this, but the playoffs, you know, stretch seems to be the, the play in all sorts of playoffs, especially the NBA. Oh, my God. The finals will be in, like, about a month or so. So here we go. Game one. We're pitching T-Raj, obviously. That's cute that they would put Boz there. It's adorable. We love that for them. And then we got Mick. He's tired. He's not going to be ready for game two. We knew that. We had to throw him in the last game of the year. and Or, or else it just would have like cost us a move. So now we got to see. He might not be. There is a chance that he's not. But let's win it in two. Let's do that. I mean, that would be kind of nifty. I'm already on the bullshit saying nifty. God damn it. I'm 200. Lissandro well, Santos, absolute monster. Left hander, 28 years old, 75 stuff, 60 movement, 50 control, three pitches, 70 or better, two of them at 80s. Just disgusting. 50 stamina. Put up a league high 252 strikeouts, 325. ERA 117 whip, 296 on the Sierra. He does walk, guys. He can be gotten to that way. That is that is the weakness. Let's be patient. I wish there was a way you could control like a team's patience too. Like it wouldn't have an overarching effect, like where it's too much. But just, you know, a way where you could say, like, let's let's have a take policy today where we're not swinging until this or that. I don't know. I think that'd be kind of interesting. Obviously, you, you can't fundamentally change the, the ratings of guys and turn some guy with a bad eye. Like, there would be a risk, right? If he has a bad eye and you have a take policy, I know you can take pitch, by the way. I'm, I'm talking about, like, as a, as a sim lever. Um, but, yeah, you know, if they have a bad eye, then when they're taking, they could be putting themselves... At risk. Oh, I was trying to alter that lineup, forgetting that it was the positional order. By lineup. Okay, that works. That works. So, uh, as far as positions go, we get Colas and Tucker, our two best players. We do tie it short with Jambois and Baez. But other than that, we're kind of housed. And a lot of that is due to injuries. But there's no time to be crying about that. There really isn't. We got to get going. And we got to figure something out. So let's see what we can do here. Top one at home, game one of the wild card series against Atlanta. You know how we do. We'll pitch the first batter, then we'll play some half innings, and then we slow it down in the fifth or sixth, depending on what the uh, scenario is, and then we go batter by batter. Yes, things could be changed if in those early innings we played it up all the way. I, I understand that there are moves I can make to impact that, but I'm willing to essentially sacrifice that to the Sim. This is a Sim League after all, for the most part, anyway. We're down one through three. They're clear in the fourth. We don't get it back in the fourth. They get another one in the fifth. And let's pick up right here, actually. I was going to I was gonna swing it back, but no. Let's pick up with us hitting. Lissandro's allowed three hits, same as Trevor Rogers. Theirs have just been more damaging. What's the walk scenario looking like? We have none. They have two. 
Unearned run. Thank you, Jim Bois. We love that. It's all right. It's all right. Not mad. Not mad. Here we go. 2-0. Now we got a 3-1. Take a walk, baby. Let's go. One one. That's cracked out in the right, pretty easy play. One away. So Diaz on first, Comanares up against Losandro Santos. It'll be lefty lefty here for the rookie. Takes a sinker for strike one and then strikes out. Oof. And it'll be up to Margot then with two outs. Two two. That's crushed. Deep to left. Back! And we're tied! Lissandro Santos gives up a two-run shot to Manuel Margot to tie this sucker up. Let's go. Oh, baby. That is huge. Now, he was pretty upset about not playing this year, and I get it. We just didn't really have a spot for him. Joe Erlin was a better player, and he steps into the plate, uh, into the box right now at a 1-0 count. But Margot comes through massively in the bottom of the fifth in game one of the wild card series. All right, we're tied, let's go. Let's check in on, oh geez. Oh wait, for this, now we have to move it up. Oh, cause I changed it again, yeah. Got it, that makes sense. Wait, isn't there a way to realign? Boom, there we go. I just need to be doing that, but then I can turn it off and then move them, perfect. There we go. So he's at 85 pitches and he's near his end here. And we don't wanna, we don't wanna push things in a real dumb way, you know? So let's get Ingram and Thompson up. We've got Acuna Jr., Olsen, Contreras. He probably doesn't face Contreras should he face Acuna? Can we even help it? We can't because they're cold. So probably should have thought about that when I was batting. But to be honest, I didn't know where he was. It's been worse against lefties. I don't really take that as like, oh, you know, he'll be easy. But let's pitch to him. Fuck. Oh, oh, pitch. Skyed out to right. Looks playable. Tucker under it. Makes the play. Actually, I don't believe that's Tucker. That's Margot. Margot, Tucker... De Los Santos right to left. It'll be Matty O now. Feeling worn down, but it's your call. All right, I give you got one more batter here. We're gonna give him with, we're gonna give him the lefty. Matty O is worse against lefties. He's a captain. That has nothing to do with anything. I'm just pointing it out. Yeah, 103. We gotta give him the lefty here. Because then I think I want to bring in Thompson for a bit and they've got more righties than lefties. All right, here we go, full count. Come on. That's skied out to right, that might be gone. And it is, wow. Gave him one batter and it burnt me, man. Jesus. I feel like all those 50-50 moves I've been doing in these playoff series have been catastrophic failures. Like every decision I make is the literal worst decision. It's unreal. I stand by the process, obviously. But another fail. All right. We'll finish that half inning. They don't get anything else. I just wanted to bat there. I knew Mason Thompson would, would clean it up. Santos is still in. No surprise there. They take the lead right after we get it, man. Right after we get it tied. That's brutal. He's at 75 pitches. He's a 50 stamina. If we could work up a big inning here. Could be the last one. 79 pitches now. We're taking one pitch with everybody. If it's a ball, I usually take another. Ah, this is going to be a three-pitch strikeout. Damn it. That's not good. And now lefty-lefty with Oscar Colas coming up. He threw some first-pitch strikes like crazy. Is he a side armor? Colas, deep to center. Back to the track. Go on! Oscar Colas ties this game up. He goes lefty, lefty. That's why we brought him in, folks. That is exactly why. Oscar Cole is 423 feet to center. 
to tie this up in the bottom of the six, baby. Let's go. It'll be Jason Dominguez now. Hits the corner for a strike. Legit call. And he strikes out. So they go, they go down, uh, but not before Oscar Colas can tie it up. And we go to Baez, Swanson, Dean. Yeah, I'm giving this to Thompson here. I mean, we're not gonna we're not gonna sim the whole thing, but he's in right now. Don't give up a freaking leadoff hit. Make me eat my words. What the hell? Okay. That one looked better off the bat. I misjudged the trajectory. All right. Uh, we do need somebody else warming up, though, from the right side. God, I do not find the righties nearly as trustworthy as I do the lefties. Like, just not even close. Ingram's ready, so he can sit. Two two, struck him out. Let's go. Out of baby Mason. Two down now. It'll be Albies. One two pitch to Albies, and he's gonna drop that one into center for a base hit. So a two out knock is gonna give him runners at the corners with somebody great coming up because they have a devastating lineup. Austin Riley. All right, Mason. I mean, this is the kind of guy you gotta get. Or do ya? 60, 65, 55. He's better, but obviously worn down a bit, too. Here we go again. The move I make, will it fail spectacularly? I'm putting him in. Get a fresh guy here for Riley. Here we go. Full count. Let's go. Geraldo strikes him out. Mason Thompson had 32 pitches. He gave us all he could. I appreciate it. I, I read that. You know, I can still pound the zone. So what, you're just going to kind of pump it in there? Nah. Nah, I need something strong. Santos coming out for the seventh. And why not? He's probably got like 50 strikeouts. He has eight. And a walk. Like, he's pitched well. Obviously, the two homers, I, I could totally see this. I mean, in today's playoff baseball, maybe not. But he is a true bona fide ace. Like the, actually, I can't because this would be like Scherzer kind of coming back out. Where, like, you get it. It's two mistake balls, but the game's tied anyway. So, yeah. I could actually see this. This, this tracks. And he'll get a ground out there. Jumbo out now. He's at 90 pitches. Take a pitch here. Man, he's been hitting them first pitch strikes like crazy the last few innings. I'll say that. It's ground ball over to third. Riley up with it. Fires. Easy out. Pardon me, that's Swanson. Is Riley the DH? He sure is. Okay. Colmenera is here. This could be Santos's last batter. I would assume so, but I do not know for sure. But particularly with Margot coming up next, you would think that they would... You know, if Colmenares gets on, if it's next inning, I don't know. That might be a flare down the line, and it is. That looks like Carlos Colmenares has a two-out double. Lefty, lefty. Had a baby. We love to see it. Let's check in on these, on these gentle souls warming up. Let's get... We can trust Luis Garcia. I mean, at home, the 45 uh, isn't as scary. I'll say that. I will trust Max Meyer over him right now, though. Okay, here we go. Margot can take first pitch. Ball. Take another one. Let's try to get 2-0. Ah. Okay. 1-1. One, one. Make it 2-2. Two, two. And ground ball short. Easy up with it. And nothing comes of the two-out double by Comaneras. We go to the top of the eighth, tied at three. Damn near even run lines, too, or score lines. 3-6-0, uh, 3, six, oh, three six, one. We got that one error. Geraldo will be back out to face Acuna. 
and maybe just Acuna. Although, as we learned, he is a good bit worse against lefties. Although, Olsen went lefty-lefty. You know, you're always playing odds, right? I, I'm not saying that, like, because the card said he's better against righties, how could he give up anything? No, no, no. You're always playing odds. You're always playing odds. You just got to remember that. 3-1 here. Walked him. I'm actually kind of okay with that. I mean, it's a leadoff batter, which kind of sucks, but... I mean, they're booing the shit out of him. They, man, they're going in on Geraldo. But, uh, you know, it's better than a homer. Oh, snap throw back, trying to get him. I like that. I like that. 3-1 now. Don't walk two guys. I brought in Colton Ingram, by the way, the lefty for Olsen. And we walked him. So opening uh, two back-to-back -back walks to open the inning. Now it's William Contreras here. 0-1 oh, to him. That ball gets away. It's going to be second and third. You just got to be kidding me, man. It's just like the ways that we lose are just so frustrating. Well, he's so dumb. That might be too shallow. What? He left early. What the hell? Oh, and then nice catch. Who the fuck is catching? Kyber. Good Lord. What are you doing back there? This is a disaster. I'm not letting fucking Joey Gallo hit a homer off of me. Get out of here. I'm going to intentionally walk. I'm going to give him shit. I'm trying to get out of this inning without giving up another run. I need that ground ball. Or the strikeout. So I'm not going to pitch to contact. Especially with this whack shift. No, fuck this. Wait, where do I change? Can I not make it double play depth? And feel normal. Oh, double play depth. There we go. Good strikeout. Let's go. That works. Extreme pull. That's all right. Just attack Swanson. Come on. One, two. Max Meyer. Got him on strikes, baby. Let's go. Okay. It's just one run. It's still horse shit. But we'll deal with it. We got the top of the order here in the bottom of the eighth. Let's go, Joe Erlin. Facing Indigo Diaz. We remember him. We had some we had some good luck against him. Kyle Tucker did. And guess who's due up this inning? They meet again. After a ground out by Joe Erlin, unfortunately. Let's take a pitch here. Let the two reintroduce themselves. 1-0, make it 2-2. And Tucker serves one in the left field for a base hit. He's got Indigo's number. It'll be up to Ruiz now. Kiebert had a brutal inning last, uh, last inning defensively. He's one for three on the day. Got a 2-1 count coming. And that's gonna be dumped into center for a base hit. Let's go! We're going to have first and third with one out. And Indigo Diaz, a splendid reliever in his own right, just does not appreciate facing our team. He did have a disastrous season. 530 ERA. 121 whip isn't too bad. And then the 301 Sierra. So he was pretty unlucky. It's homers, of course. It's always homers, especially with relievers. Let's get one of those homers. Oh, God. We got Oscar Colas up. Take a pitch. Okay, gives him a strike. 0-2 now. Don't strike out. Damn, he got him. Uh, Dominguez now. 1-2. Base hit with tie ball game. Let's go, Dominguez. Let's go. We are tied once again. It'll be Ryan Presley now for Jordan Diaz. Or will it be Alec Burleson? It will, baby. Great time to use him. 127 WRC plus against righties. I think this is the moment to do this. And then Cleo Watson can come in and play third. Put him in. Also warm up Taylor. And... I guess Luis Garcia. Just so we got a righty and a lefty warming. 
All right, take a pitch. Okay, and we're ready. 1 0. Burleson. Base hit in the left. Let's go. That's going to score a run. And we're up 5 4 in the bottom of the eighth. It'll be Jambois now against Presley. 0 1. That's ground ball weekly to first. Should be the third out, and it is. But two runs puts Miami on top. And we got a save situation, baby. Um, he'll just get replaced. Third base. Uh, yeah, we're good. I think we're going to go with Meyer, which it means it's not a save because we took the lead, but just so I don't get corrected on that. It would be a save situation if I was changing to anybody, but nobody's even ready anyway, so here we go. 2-2. Two, two. Come on, Max. Yes! Ground ball, Albies. Two away. So strikeout, ground out. I didn't say anything during the strikeout for some reason. I'm just, I just said yes and didn't say what happened. <laughs> yes, that's positive. Um, and then here we go. 1-1 one, one to Riley. Meyer delivers. And that's a little tapper up the middle. That'll be the third out. And game one's in the books, baby. Let's go. All right. Ruiz Colas, two hits apiece. Same with Coleman Erez. Huge two run homer by Margot. Huge solo shot by Colas. Gallo and Olsen went yard off of T Raj. Couple lefty homers. Lissandro Santos pitched well outside of that, and so did T Raj. They really both did outside of the homers. Geraldo did give up a run. Not, I mean, not totally his fault there. Um, and then Indigo Diaz had a rough one. He really had a rough one. So that's game one. Let's finish off this day. Check in on Abel real quick. He should be ready. Yeah, he'll be ready if we need him. Hopefully we don't. Hopefully we don't even need him. That would be the best part is if like, who? Make who see in the second round. That's who. That, that that didn't make any sense, but like, go with it. You know? Game two. Here we go. First batter up. We're facing a righty. It'll be K Tuck. And base hit in the right. Turns out uh, me calling him K-Tuck is why he doesn't want to re-sign with us. Which, fair, you know? We don't score anything there. Zero for them in the first, zero for us in the second. Still zeros into the th top of the third, bottom of the third, top of the fourth. Oh, this has been a pitcher's duel. Bottom of the fourth, top of the fifth, bottom of the fifth. Zeros all around, three hits for us, one for them. Nola and Boz pitching their asses off. Are you kidding me? Get some folks warmed up here so we don't get caught flat footed, you know. Should something happen. All right. Uh, Boz is at 66. We're going to give him this inning. Fuck, they scored one. Okay, that's okay. That's all right. I had to speed it up a little bit. I'm on a little bit of a time constraint, so I couldn't play every inning here. So that's 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 what, what cost us, you know. Maybe, maybe if uh, we had been able to do that, I could have prevented that run. I don't know. That's a base hit up the middle. I thought he caught that. Let's go. Had a baby Burleson. Way to get us started. Now it'll be Joe Erlin. Oh, oh, pitch. He's swinging. Skied out to center. Playable. It'll be one away in the top of the seventh. So one on, one away. It'll be Watson due up. He's ready. Okay, just making sure. Full count pitch to Watson. And we'll tap her. To pitcher, he throws over a second to get the lead runner, but nothing else. And Watson, oh, he thinks about it and goes back. Then he goes, 
And he's in. Let's go. Stolen base for Watson, and it's 3 0. I'm taking. I'll take one more here, and then we'll turn him loose, son. All right, here we go. Oh, that's gone. That's gone. Let's go. Jean Bois with a two run shot. Deep to left. 367, maybe not that deep, but still good. We're up 2 1, baby. Boom. Oh, that's huge. Oh, that's massive. Then a little fly out there to end the inning. Miami takes a 2-1 lead going into the bottom of the seventh. We got Boz here at 88 pitches. Who else did I want? Carvello. Boz, how you doing, man? It seems like you're doing really well, but let's, let's check in on you. Three hits, an unearned run. Kybert having that sick defense still. Seven strikeouts, one walk. So he's pitching brilliantly. Where you at, bud? To be honest, I'm starting to tire. I appreciate the honesty. Boy, do I respect that. An honest chap like yourself? Golly. Well, I never. Um, all right. I think we're going to bring in Ingram. And we're going to give him the inning even with the two righties. Oh, he's cold. Wait, who did I warm up? Didn't I warm up a lefty? Oh, it was Josh Taylor. Now, he is way better against lefties. Actually, not way better. Okay, it's not as split as I thought. But um, plus, we have the one batter rule now. Like, you can just... It could just be a loogie situation here if I wanted it to be. But, no, I, th I think we can give him the inning. He should be able to handle those two. There's a strikeout of Gallo. Let's go. 1-0 pitch here to William Contreras, who flies out to right. One away. Or two away, excuse me. And then 2-1 pitch now coming to Baez. And then he skies into right center... And playable for Colas. So three up, three down. Let's see what Tucker does against Nola here. Full count. And he grounds over to Albies for the out. Presley in now against Ruiz. 2-2 two -two pitch. Here it comes. And that's flat out to center for Acuna. Easy out. Two away. Oh, it's Dean. Excuse me. I'm all over the place. Get, I'm assuming. So it's Acuna, Dean, and Gallo. Is that Austin Dean? Justin Dean. Okay. He's not a bad little player. A little fourth outfielder type. Oscar Colas now. Oh, oh, pitch. He's jumping. He's trying to jump him. I don't think that's going out. Nope. Fly out to left. Or right. Excuse me. So three up, three down. Still leading, though. We got Swanson in the top of the order. It'll be Dean at the top of the order. Swanson is better against lefties. So it'll be right, right, switch. Mm. How'd Taylor do against righties this year? He's fine. He's pretty good. Let's, let's give him a batter here. Let's see. Can you get four outs for us? What the hell? <laughs> Yo, the wind really caught that one. <laughs> okay, so we get the foul out there. Justin Dean. I'll give him another batter. Really pushing my luck here with Josh Taylor, huh? Oh, that might have done it. Oof, that's just a base hit. Okay. Okay, that's that scared me straight. Uh, I'm sorry, Justin, Josh Taylor. You did well. This is not on you. This is just... I'm getting, I'm getting greedy. And I need to relax. All right, Carvello. Now, wait. I don't know if I'm planning this out too well here. So, Albies is a G. A little bit better against lefties. And then Olsen's up. So, now I think I've kind of painted myself into a corner where I really should keep Taylor in. So I did a hard pivot there. This is going to burn me big time. So they're bunting. Throw to second. That's all right. We get an out. They got the runner second. They gave up Albies, and now it's two outs. So this is perfect. They're so dumb. Don't burn me by saying that. Let's go. Strike out of Matt Olsen, and it's done. Two innings from Josh, uh, from Josh Taylor. Absolutely amazing. Brilliant, brilliant work by him. Very pleased. And then it'll be Acuna, Riley, Gallo. I don't know that we're going to give. You know what? I'm going back to Meyer. 85%, but I think he can do it. I think he can do it. 
Oh, that's a, that's a uh, walk for Dominguez. Oh, wait, no, he says he's exhausted. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did they almost just lead me down? It says 85%. I don't know what to believe. Or is he still listed as an SP? If that's the case, that might be why he's exhausted. Well, now I'm scared. Okay, that is. It has to be. And if I could see his status as... Okay, it, it, it's fine. It's fine. His status as RP is not as exhausted. He couldn't make a start right now. But he can He can relieve. I'm confident in that. I'm going to trust that. He says tentatively. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm, I'm comfortable. All right, pop out for Burleson. One away. One on, one out for De Los Santos. Two on pitch. Fly to center. Playable for Dean. Two away. And that'll leave it up to Watson. And um, Joey Lucchese is going to come out for Khalil Watson. And we'll let him face the lefty here. And it's a little tapper to third. Oh, might be beat it, might beat it out. Infield single for Khalil. Oh, they said they got him. The animation didn't quite match there. Uh -uh. Not quite. All right, we're going to Meyer against Acuna. 2-1. Here we go. Max Meyer, shut this down and take us to the next round. Ah, shit. It's tied. No, it's caught at the wall. Oh, Oscar Colas with an amazing play. He's not even here for defense. Oh, I was. I thought it was gone. I thought it was gone for sure. Oh my God, come on, Max. This would be so amazing too. I have kind of a hard time limit. And I, if there is a game three, I have to do two videos and then splice them. If we, could, if we could win this, oh my God, it'd just be such perfect timing. That's two away, by the way. I steamrolled the strikeout. Now we got Joey Gallo here. I think we gotta do pitch by pitch. Take him for a strike. Fastball down. At 97, kind of in the happy zone. Be careful with that one, Max. Oh, and he quickly gets him 0-2 with a little slide piece. Pretty much in the same spot, but obviously a much different look. Now the 0-2 delivery, here it comes. Got him on strikes, baby. He sat there like a house on the side of the road. And we're going to the next round, baby. Let's go. Hell yes. Oh, that's huge. Shane Boz, Josh Taylor, Max Meyer, just brilliant pitching against this behemoth lineup. Jambois, clutch homer, had a double as well. De Los Santos had a double. Jambois was the only one with multi-hits for us. Acuna and Dean for them. Nola pitched well, but hey, you know, got got. Got got. It was a tight game. Let's go. How sweet it is indeed. Shane Boz gets the MVP, and I'm down with that. I am for that. Now we wait. Oh, San Diego swept as well. Okay, so I don't know the seeding. I think I think we have to face the Dodgers, though. It reseeds. Um, these two are ready, too, so here we go. Yeah, we're facing the Dodgers. The two teams that kind of like, and I knew it too. I knew it. It was just shaping up for that. Only two and four against them. Not that many games, but there was that one stretch when we faced them around two Brave series, and we just got destroyed. And I was like, we have to figure out a way to beat those teams because we're going to face one of them in October. Nay, both of them. Hey, you got to beat the best. So in the division series, a best of five, we've got the Dodgers. <sighs> Mookie Betts, still pretty good, but, you know, down a bit. He's 33, basically 34. Still good, though, obviously. But 105, you know, not, not Mookie, but again, you're not taking him lightly in a playoff series, especially. Of course, they got Cabrian Hayes. Duh. For Yu Young Kim, who is good, okay. 23 years old, 65 potential, okay. It's a good trade. Gavin Lux, he turned into a G, y'all. Now, we didn't make a mistake. 
So, oh wait, Cabrian Hayes was the other guy considered too. Okay, so Cabrian Hayes would have been the mistake. Remember, when we were looking for a cornerstone, it was Cabrian Hayes, uh, Gavin Lux, and Kyle Tucker, who we en ended up getting, of course. Gavin Lux is probably the, I would say he's probably the biggest win only because his defensive value, I think, is more valuable in the infield than Tucker in the outfield. But Tucker does have him out ward. You know what? Now I, I'm pivoting. Fuck it. We took the dub. We took the fat dub. Gavin Lux would have been a pretty fat dub as well. And Cabrizi would have been an L. A, you know? Like he's just not been that good. And we were looking for a franchise piece. Like we've got guys like this. This would have been an L. Not a huge L, but an L nonetheless. Because don't forget, what we gave back to Houston to get Tucker is beasting. And so you kind of measure it against that too. Don't you know? Pablo Lopez has been awesome, and Zach McCambly led the league in freaking ERA this year. They turned him into a stud. And whip. You're gonna win the damn Cy Young, but we got Tucker, so I'm not mad about it. Trey Turner batting fourth, he's unbelievable still. No surprise. Michael Bush, a guy I like to get a lot in sims he's up late after a solid triple a season he kind of bounced around like up and down that's the dodgers though right like this is um present day this is edwin rios chris taylor popped 30 from the what six spot was that yeah cody bellinger popped 40 from the seven spot okay will smith down here lost his bat a bit he's become you know just a solid league average guy like he didn't take that next level or, or not really take that next level because this is elite but he didn't like hold it you know that was kind of he was great at the beginning and then he's kind of smoothed out but as a catcher i mean you're still you're still taking that and then jamer is their dh he had a great year last year tough year this year so it must have been his it was his defense is that oh because he's dhing okay so he played defense last year because he had four war but then his Oh, WRC plus went down three points and then he lost three of the war. They got Bobby Miller as their ace. He's quite good. Got a pretty high Sierra though, so maybe a little maybe a little lucky. Matthew Boyd at age 35. Putting up a decent season. Really good whip. Frankie Montas, solid, solid. And Tomoyuki Sagano looking pretty good as well. He's been kind of an up-and-down guy for them. He's 36. This was unexpected. I don't think that that's who they would want there. You see Freeman is on the IL. And four weeks, he's done. Oh, Walker Bueller. Okay, yeah, this is this is why they're, they're using some of these other guys. Bueller smoked. So, that hey, we can't complain then about our injuries. Let's be honest. We got to put that off to the side because theirs are actually worse. Now, they also won 104 games to our 87, so you can make a case that their injuries could kind of brought them down to our level, and then our injuries take them lower, but that's not how we're viewing it. Both teams have big injuries. Fucking deal with it. I can't wait. This series is going to be great. We'll, we'll go into their bullpen the rest of their pitchers, too, because i got to get ready for this spot I'm doing, and then we're going to trivia, but I got everything in. I'm so happy I'm going to have this up for you all when I go to trivia. But we're going to the next round. Finally, over the hump. Can't wait. Dodgers next time out. Thanks for watching. Take care.